Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what I want to cover are just the most essential 18 month milestones. There are a lot of milestones at every age, but these are the ones that I feel are most important and to have at the forefront of your mind. Before we dive into this, it's really important that I say this. It is okay if your 18 month old has not done all of these things. What I'm sharing with you are the milestones that most 18 month olds are doing. So by the time they turn 18 months, they are doing these skills. But if your little one isn't there yet, that's okay. My daughter is 18 months old and she is not doing all of the things that I'm going to cover, but that is all right. She's going to be just fine. If you feel like you need support, either with an occupational therapist, physical therapist, or speech language pathologist, don't be afraid to reach out. We are doing PT right now. Naya is still not walking, but again, 98% of the kids will either figure it out on their own or with support. So let's dive in. One last thing before we get started, I have a completely free developmental milestone chart that is linked in the description box below. This is going to give you all the major milestones from months zero to 18 months. So you can see what's happening in fine motor, gross motor, language, cognitive, and social emotional skills. So click the link in the description box below. You'll be able to download your free chart. You can print it out, put it on your fridge. It's just a really great reference tool so you can kind of have the next milestone at the forefront of your mind. So when it comes to social emotional skills, the few things that really stand out to me are one, when your little one wants something, they're really trying to communicate that they want something, whether it be by words or by pointing to indicate, hey, I'm interested in this item. The next thing is your little one really enjoys stories. So they'll take time out to sit with you to either flip through pages of a book or listen to a story. They start to become engaged in the storytelling process. Last in social emotional is the anticipation for certain activities. So maybe your little one puts their hands out under the sink when they know it's time to wash their hands, or they could even be helping a little with dressing. And this would be more of the self-help skills, but pushing their arms through shirts or helping to straighten their legs when pants or shorts are going on. They're really anticipating the routine and activities of the day. So the next important milestone is in language. So for me, when it comes to language, the really big thing that happens at 18 months is that your little one's able to follow a one step command without any gestures. So I could simply say to Naya, go get the little blue truck book. And she would know what the little blue truck book was and she'd know where it is and she'd go grab it and get it for me. Or at least she'd try to go look for it to bring it to me. So we're not pointing at things. We're not making gestures to sort of cue them. They really have the receptive language skills and the capacity to understand our language through words to follow through with that one step command. Next up are cognitive milestones. So think learning, thinking, problem solving. The two big pieces that really stand out to me at 18 months is that your little one is starting to play with toys appropriately. So if they have a car, maybe they're pushing it back and forth and going vroom vroom, or they see a hairbrush and they're bringing it to their hair and pretending to brush their hair. And then also they're imitating chores or activities that take place around the house. So if they see you cleaning up, suddenly they really wanna be engaged in the process. Maybe they're pretending to sweep, maybe they're pretending to wipe down the table. They're understanding that this is something that the family does and they take an interest in imitating. Last but not least, we have fine and gross motor skills. So here are the few milestones that really stand out to me around 18 months. So your little one is likely able to scribble. If you were to give them a crayon and a piece of paper, they're making scribbles on their own. Your little one is also likely able to drink from an open cup. Spilling is fine. They're pretty proficient at feeding themselves with their fingers, but they're also likely using a spoon or at least attempting to use a spoon or a fork. They are likely walking independently without holding on to anybody or anything. And they're also probably really proficient at scaling your furniture. So climbing on the couch or climbing off the couch is easy breezy for your 18 month old. All right, beautiful people, I hope you found this helpful. If something feels off for you, don't be afraid to reach out for support, whether that be your pediatrician, you can always get a developmental evaluation for your child to make sure that everything is moving smoothly. And again, if your little one's not doing one or two of these things that I've mentioned, more than likely they are okay. Every kid has their own developmental timing, so we have to trust that and breathe. But we know if something feels off. 
If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Here are a couple other videos for you to check out. They're all great, so just stick around. Catch you in the next one. Bye.